Tonight, meteorologist Peter Hall. That's an idea, Peter. Maybe a little uh, bird feeder out there. Yes, you could do that. Have some fun. And uh, it's certainly a day where you can do outdoor activities. I know I mowed the lawn today. Beautiful midday and afternoon to do that. Obviously, it was chilly this morning. And look for another cool and chilly overnight and start tomorrow. Let's talk about what's new and next. Number one thing we're watching, it's a fabulous Friday. Basically, almost the same as today. And if anything, the temperatures are even warmer in the afternoon. So get set for a great day outside again tomorrow. All week long, I've been talking about a coastal storm, which actually may, may acquire some tropical characteristics. It might even become a tropical storm, regardless of what it is or whatever. It's still the same thing we've been watching. And there's still a little bit of a mystery of how much cloud cover hence the word conundrum here, and or rain that parts of central and upstate New York will get. It does look likely that the worst weather should be to our south, but still might get grazed by a little of this specifics in a second. And that's why there's still a little uncertainty. It does not look like we get a direct hit from it, but any rain would certainly hold temperatures down. Well, there's no rain on the Falls of Surface Experts Live triple Doppler radar here in central New York. Just wanted to show you an update. This system is finally coming together right here. And it's not just a tropical system. It's actually not quite one yet, but there's also a regular storm system. Almost kind of think of this as a nor'easter because that's sort of how it's going to operate because it's still between a combination of tropical characteristics and a regular storm system. Early this morning, we were chilly. This is what it should be tomorrow morning. Most spots in the mid to upper 40s. Some hilltops could be around 50, and some of the coldest valleys and countryside will be in the upper 30s to lower 40s, so a wide range of lows. Otherwise, any valley fog burns off, and we should have lots of sun again tomorrow, just a few thin clouds. And I think temperatures are solidly three to five degrees warmer than today. So that should put most of us 70 to 75, and we might even get to 76 or 77 in downtown Syracuse. A few extra clouds late, but a beautiful day. Now remember, that storm system is to our south and it's getting closer. So what you're seeing here, we've talked about this all week, is that there'll be first some high thin clouds Friday night. And I think these clouds should thicken up Saturday. However, I'm hopeful that we get some sun through the clouds. The brightest part of Saturday is the morning. Filtered sun going to dimmer sun and potentially no sun later in the afternoon. But I think most of the rain should stay around the 88 corridor, Binghamton, Oneonta, Schenectady, south and east during the course of Saturday. That system is actually coming in waves. There is an opportunity, and we've had it in all week. The best chance of any rain in and around our area would be Saturday night into Sunday. Now, having said that, there's likely to be a big difference from south to north and even from southeast to northwest across our area, especially when you talk about Saturday night and Sunday. That 67 Sunday is an average. It could be much cooler south and east where their rain hangs on longest and maybe even 70 plus for the north and west. So we will hopefully have even more detail on that part of the forecast tomorrow. Stanley Law Skywatch. Still a gorgeous shot here on the Regency Tower camera back inside. Pete, thank